Welcome back to Bull Lodge. My name is Ryan Heydrich. I'm joined as always by Kazmir Morawski. And today we're sponsored by Ryan's Mustache and Epic Lacrosse. Yeah, as the calendars approach the end of April, it's time to really start thinking hard about Greenville. Kazmir and I have been pumped up for Greenville for a, for a long time now. I'm sure all of our, our loyal viewers are too. So let's get right into it, our round three of our bracketology. Kazmir, Kazmir, start us off. Yeah, so in the 116 game, you know, it hasn't changed. Uh, we have CSU at number one and Indiana at 16. And for that, bring in Tom Crean. There he's he is. Stu- he's in the studio today. Second week in a row he's been hanging out with us, so it's great to have him. He's a great guy. Go Hoosiers. And uh, in our number two versus 15 game, we have Boulder taking on Grand Canyon University. Grand Canyon hops into our brackets after uh, their win over Arizona State a couple weeks ago and then following the Davenport loss to Michigan State, 11-1, to really hurt the Davenport's, ch- Davenport's chances. Yeah, you know, it's a tough loss for Davenport, but, um, you know, it's, they've had a good season for uh, just moving into D1. Um, and then in, in another interesting game, 5-12 game, we have BYU at 5 and Texas at 12. You know, Texas is a team that can put up a lot of points, and it should be interesting to see how they fare in Greenville. Yeah, and our 6-12 matchup I think could be one of the best early round games uh, at Greenville. It had, features UCSB taking on Michigan State. Michigan State is a team that's kind of picking up as the season goes on, and I think that they might be a very dangerous team once Greenville rolls around. Yeah, definitely. In our 7-10 game, we have Sonoma taking on Boston College. Uh, it should be interesting one for, uh, for both teams as, you know, as Greenville approaches. Yeah, and to round out our, our MCLA Division I brackets, we have California as the AT taking on Oregon, the 9 seed. Oregon State dismantled their rivals, Oregon State, last week in a game which was on Wax TV. Be sure to check out the replay. And, you know, it should be interesting to see how Oregon does. You know, they had a little drama in the middle of the season, but I think they've rebounded nicely in the face of adversity, and I think they should be ready for Greenville. Yeah, definitely. It should be interesting to see how the Ducks do this year in Greenville. And that's all the time that we have for today, but make sure to check out our other videos. We'll see you next week.